you back again for another pregame haircut? How you doing, young blood? Ah, uh, it's a poor black man trying to make it in Bel Air, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> what do you say, Joe? <sighs> <laughs> hey, hey, somebody want to know the future? <laughs> the girls like it. Yeah, I'm sure they do. They can check their makeup in it. <laughs> YouTube is for first things first, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video and turn your notification bell on. That way my videos can reach a wider audience and I can get back into that algorithm. Today we got a Fresh Prince haircut tutorial. First thing I'm doing is I'm picking my client's hair out so that we can see its true length. And I'm going in with my detachables. Now the reason I'm going in with my detachables, um, because he has a lot of hair, I don't want to dole out my trimmers, even though they really won't, but it's just an OCD thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm setting the guy line all around his head. We're going to do like a... It ain't really a mid fade, but it ain't really a high fade. It's just it's just a fade, like a box fade, I guess. Um, for the top, we're kind of going to round the top a little bit, and he's going to sponge it up with our racket. I got my low pros taking out all the excess hair at the bottom. client thick head of hair full dark hair very healthy hair healthy scalp i washed and conditioned it before the haircut also so yeah once you got that guideline set in we're gonna take his hair down he likes the top a little shorter so what i usually do is just cut it down with an eight just to make it simpler instead of freehanding it and then i'll go in and clip over comb to make that shape better this isn't really going to create shape this is just cutting the length so keep that in mind especially with curly hair you know it has shape especially when they're keeping a lot of hair on top like this client you want to have that shape right now look at the hair it has no shape so once i cut it down what i recommend doing is picking out his hair while blow drying it that way you get all those loose hairs out and now we're going to get started on like we're not really starting to fade we're just making a base for it with our two guard and I'm going up straight off his head. I'm not really digging in too much. And then to get started on our fade, we have our mythics with our lever fully open. And I'm going up a full inch. This fade is gonna be very simple, to the point, no gimmicks. It's not hard to fade, anyone can fade. Let's go. I'm going all around the head, full inch, all around. Kind of made my guy line a little bit bigger in the back. One open, inch. Close it. Open, closed. It's simple. It's like playing a video game, man. <laughs> I don't like being repetitive, like open the lever, close. It's just like y'all get it. Y'all know, y'all know what to do. Staying consistent, keeping the same steps all around. Being a little careful when I I'm gonna be careful when I get near the vertical bars right here. Because you know you want to keep that line dark for the shape up, you know. Now I got my 1.5 guard. Lever was fully open, now it's closed. This is gonna blend out that one open into the two. Perfectly, pretty much. These are definitely probably my favorite clippers. Switch back to my one open. If you guys want to purchase these clippers, I have a promo code with Stylecraft slash Gamma. You can get 10% off. Make sure you guys take advantage of that. Also, any other tools you guys see me use, it's all going to be on my Amazon storefront. So you got check that out in the description. So now I switch to my 0.5 guard. But if you guys are familiar with my channel, I call this the 0.75 guard. Why? Because it cuts longer than the 0.5 guard, but it cuts shorter than the one. 
Now I switch to the actual half guard. Lever is halfway and then I close it and that completely erases that middle guy line. And this is just preparing for you to come back in. Now, I told you guys that I have my my blade set crooked. That's why it's completely shredding through this guy line without me having to switch to my liners or, to, or my detachables, which I love. I absolutely love. Definitely recommend you guys do it too. I'm gonna make a detailed video about it soon. Just haven't had the time to yet. Basically, I'm starting with my lever closed. Then I go third notch, second notch, first notch, and then no notches, completely open. So I hope that makes sense. Watch me do it. It's pretty easy. Just steps. And yeah. So as you guys can see, that fade is butter, man. Straight melted butter, pancake butter. Now we're gonna do some clip over comb. This is to really establish that shape because there was no shape to this haircut. There still is no shape. So there's a couple of different techniques I do with clip over comb. Right now, this is the freehand technique. This is a clip over comb technique. Going under with the comb. Freehand. Under. Under. Over. This is over. So yeah. You got under, over, freehand. With curly hair. Look at that hairline. His forehead's tiny. I love it. So we're gonna freehand it first to prep the hairline. We're gonna try and keep that length in the front. I'm going in with my two guard, lever was open, then I closed it, I believe. Yeah. Now we're gonna get started. Got my DLC blade, my deep tooth blade. And it's not really a pushback in the front, but we do have to push his corners back because they grow in too far. He, he doesn't like his his lineup, like, you know, a Minecraft box lineup, like so close, he likes it spread out a little bit. So we push it back in this area right here. But it fits him, it doesn't look bad or nothing, it fits him. And you wanna be careful with a client with a small forehead like this. Like I don't even really use the razor on him just because it's gonna, I usually end up cutting his eyebrow. So as you guys are gonna see later, I'm gonna use the pencil on like the vertical bars, which I rarely do. But we're doing his vertical bars and I'm being very careful with my blade. I'm not even using a full blade when I did that because I don't want to cut his eyebrow. I've done it many times. He could tell you, I cut his eyebrows all the time by accident. And I just try not to do it. So we connecting the lineup to the other side, making sure it's straight and symmetrical, making sure those vertical bars line up nicely. Now we're gonna apply some enhancements just to darken up those vertical bars. And now we're applying the pencil just on the vertical bars. I don't really want it on his hairline. I just want it on the vertical bars to make it look more crispy. And now we're doing some detail work with our Andes Master. This is a great detail clipper. Right here, I switched to my Andes Zero Purple Guard. I just saw some dark spots that I didn't really like. 
and then I'm back with my Babyliss FX. As you can see, that's butter. Butter, 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 butter. Hope you guys enjoy, enjoying the new content. I'm trying to bring you guys something new. Not be repetitive. I hate doing the same stuff over and over and over. Now we're trimming his hair. Still establishing that shape a little bit. Um, we're not doing like a flat top. We're doing like a round top, just like the Fresh Prince. So yeah, just trimming the loose hairs. And that's fire. Sheesh. Doing his facial hair real quick. He just gets his stash lined up, goatee lined up, and his face, you know, shaved under all that. He's doing some last minute freehand. This is what I call blizzy. A blizzard, blizzy, blendini. Look at that line. Crazy. Now we're going to rough up the top. As you guys saw, the shape wasn't perfect, but that was because I, I knew I was going to do this. I use a racket just because it's more sanitary. This is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving the studio. Let's get it. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.